This is my third attempt, successful attempt, at Rhinoculus. Uh, my first attempt was just trying out the pattern and using some scrap wool that I had, hence the two colors. But then I decided to make it like official. And I used some wool I picked up in Hobby Lobby called I Love This Cotton. It's 100% cotton and it's it's lovely actually because you can throw it in the washing machine and do a low tumble dry and um, it comes out really nice. I chanced that because I thought well what if it shrinks or whatever but it turned out well. So you knit the pattern and you do short rows in the back that brings up the back neck higher than the front and basically just follow the pattern short rows and then this individual stitching some lace work here there's the lace work and then ending up uh, finishing up your yoke cast off for your sleeves and then continue with the body of the work and it turned out really really nice and it is so much fun to knit up. I had to start working on another one. The Ranunculus. It's a 15 pages, but you don't have to use all the pages because after you do the yoke, then you get into the individual sizes. I actually used a size three as my guide on this one with the size 10 knitting needles. For this one, I started off with a 10 as they had requested, but I just felt like 10 was a little bit too loose. This is the 10. Then I switched to an eight, somewhere around here. And then once I finished the yoke area, I switched to a number seven because I wanted to bring it in a bit. Plus I did some shaping on the sides where I brought in a few stitches, decreased it in other words, on each side. And I tried it on and it is a little bit more form fitting, but it's, it's lovely. Hangs on the shoulders really nice. This I always put on my work so I know which is my beginning, my front row. It's not the beginning, it's the front row. Um, it's not blocked. This is blocked, but this is not blocked. And I used the About Strings, which is a Canadian product out in British Columbia. And this one is called the Totally, Totally Cotton. And uh, it's a fingering weight, so it's much lighter. You can see the difference in the strand here, very small. So, but, I wanted a very sort of nice lightweight top to wear in the summer and that's what this is going to provide for me. It'll be really nice when it's blocked. So I got, this is um, two balls. I ordered this actually, you can order it directly from the company or you can go on Amazon. I ordered it on Amazon. It was faster because I'm a Prime member so I got it the next day. Two balls, knit all of this. So it's almost done. I need about maybe two more inches. So I debated buy the extra wool or not. And um, I just decided to go ahead and order it. I'm sure I can find another use for this, the rest of the yarn. So, and it's also, did I mention that? 100% cotton. So anyway, I thought I would try out the BC product, the About Strings fingering weight yarn to see what it was like. And I'm impressed. I like it. At first I thought maybe it might be too stiff. Now it's not as soft as I love this cotton, but it is still nice. And I haven't washed it yet. So, or give it a good soaking yet, which I do in downy, a bit of downy and block it. So I think it'll be nice after I get it done. So. Once I complete that, I will take a picture of it, wearing it. So then, I was, I had some more of this, I love this cotton, in a different color, and I was knitting it up, 
and I have probably down to here in this particular wall and then I ran out and so then I picked up a different greenish color you'll see in the picture and I changed my mind and I thought no I'm going to separate the wool so I did that it's four strands so I separated the strands and I get these balls of wool or cotton and I started knitting up another one using the lighter weight the two strands so I didn't mind pulling it out because this is going to give me what I want just a lightweight nice fabric that will be then number three rinoculus and I've ordered some wool from Pearl Soho actually cotton but it's a worsted weight which I didn't quite realize so I don't know if I'm going to end up separating it or just use it as is but that's arriving in the mail today so this is my third ranunculus and I use this stretchy cast on what can I tell you I'm waiting I can't do any knitting right now because I'm not allowed to go figure you would think that knitting would be a, a really easy task but apparently where the incision is on my hand uh, it's something I'm not allowed to do right now along with a few other weight lifting um, activities so if you don't know about this, it's in a previous video, um, the accident it's called. This is my summer top cotton knit in the picnic cotton. I've knit two other tops in this and I love it. It's soft, it's lightweight, it drapes nice. And I'm using a slightly different pattern. It's similar to the Rhinoculus, but it doesn't have all the detail in the yoke. But it is a knit from yoke down or top down top. And what can I tell you about this? The other two that I have knit in picnic cotton are so comfortable. I wear them all the time. So I just picked another color. I think this one's called Plum. Now I started off, what I did different than this one is I cast on about a hundred stitches on the neck and I started with a smaller needle I think I started with a six and then I went to a seven and I did just a little bit of eyelet detail in this one in this row in this row and I was thinking I might crochet a strand of lighter color and maybe a pink and go in and out of these little eyelets maybe maybe not but the smaller needle uh, gives it a more dense look in the initial part of the yoke and then it just sort of spreads out. So, and again, I'm not allowed to do any knitting for a while um, because the incision or the cut on my hand has not healed up on the top part, but it will. So I'm going through knitting withdrawal. So all I can do is look at patterns and dream and think about where I'm going next with these projects the green one and this one and then I'll be starting the I the pearl soho wool or yarn which is tulip cotton in black so I'll share that later so guess what the hand is progressing it's healing so these are stereo strips they um Help keep the skin together to help it heal and um, we're making progress so that means that I can knit so let me show you what I've been up to so I blocked my rainforest green ranunculus top 100% organic grown cotton and I finished the neck edge with a row of crochet and I did the same around the sleeves just to even it up visually I don't think anybody would really notice but for me it helps keep everything flat and then I sew the edges of a sleeve together with just a bit of scrap thread when I'm blocking it that way I don't have to sort of fold down and smooth down the edges it just lays flat 
and this time I actually did it on the hem of this garment as well. So it just makes it a little bit easier when you're trying to shape it out while you're blocking it. This is actually still a little bit damp. I'm tempted to just throw it in the dryer because apparently I can do that. Tumble dry low. Thanks for watching and uh, welcome to new subscribers. I'm glad you stopped by and I retitled my channel The Variety Show because there is a variety of stuff here. So you can flip through whatever you want, watch what you want, watch when you want. <laughs> the freedom is always yours. So um, if you knit and if you're thinking about making a ranunculus top sweater, let me know. I'd love to hear your comments. So cheers. Bye for now.